In the year 2154, due to overpopulation, disease, and contamination, humanity has left Earth in a catastrophic state. The privileged class builds a space station called Elysium, where they live free from pollution and sickness by utilizing advanced healing pods. Meanwhile, Earth is now home only to the poor, including Orphan Max and his closest friend, Frey. The two spend their time together. Immersed in books about Alicia, and Max promises to take Frey there someday. To save money for their trip, Max starts stealing, despite the nun in charge of the orphanage warning him to stop. Years later, in Los Angeles, Max is a reformed thief, working hard in a factory, but even when he is on his best behavior, officer robots stop him at the bus station and search his backpack due to his criminal history. Max responded to the robots questioning with a joke, which resulted in the robots shoving him to the ground and injuring his arm. After searching his bag and finding nothing incriminating, the robots allowed Max to leave. Still in shock from the incident, Max sought medical attention at the hospital, where he unexpectedly ran into Frey, whom he hadn't seen in a while. While Frey tended to his injured arm, the two caught up and Max mustered the courage to ask her out on a date. After some hesitation, Frey accepted. Later, Max headed to his job at Armadine, a company responsible for creating Elysium and manufacturing robots for billionaire Carlisle. Max's manager attempted to fire him for being late, but Max explained the situation and was able to keep his job, albeit with a warning. Meanwhile, Hackerspotter led a group of rebels who were distributing counterfeit IDs and providing people with transportation to Elysium for medical treatment. Defense Secretary Delacourt received a message alerting her of three undocumented shuttles approaching Elysium, prompting her to quickly return to her office and take action. Despite being told to return to Earth, the shuttles refused to comply, prompting Delacourt to activate Kruger, a sleeping agent she had hidden on Earth which she knew was illegal but did not care. Armed with a missile launcher, Kruger was able to take down two of the shuttles, but the third managed to land on Elysium, allowing a woman to escape with her sick daughter. The woman used a healing pot to cure her daughter, but they were apprehended by robot cops and arrested to be sent back to Earth. Later, Max ran into his friend Julio on his way home, who offered to help him steal cars. Max refused as he did not want to end up back in jail. The following day at work, Max discovered an object jamming the door to the radioactive room. His manager ordered him to fix it, and Max complied to avoid losing his job. While he was able to remove the object easily, it caused the door to close, and the machine started working again. Max's co-workers were unable to open the door quickly enough, and Max was exposed to a large dose of radiation causing him to squirm in pain. He was eventually freed and sent to the company's medical bay, where a robot informed him that he would die in five days, but he could take pills to function until then. Carlisle arrived and ordered the manager to fire Bax due to the production stoppage. Meanwhile, Delacourt was summoned to an audience with President Patel, who called her out for violating the law by using a sleeper agent and killing 46 civilians. Delacourt defended her actions, stating that she would do whatever was necessary to protect their home and families from savages. Patel warned her that if she did anything like that again, she would be fired. Carlyle later met with Delacourt to renew defense contracts for the space station. Delacourt asked if Carlyle could override Elysium system and put a new president in power. Carlyle confirmed that he could and Delacourt offered a 200-year contract if he put her in power, which he accepted. At the hospital, Frey was devastated to learn that her patient, Matilda, could not be cured and must be sent home. Meanwhile, Max tried to make his way home, but he was feeling too sick, and Julio had to help him move. After vomiting, Max explained what had happened and asked Julio to take him to Spider. Max and his group arrive at Carlyle's facility to capture him after Max accepts Spider's dangerous mission of using an exoskeleton suit to access a billionaire's organic information and transfer it to another. Provided that Julio gets a ticket to Alicia and Carlyle is the target. Carlyle, however, 
has encrypted his cerebral information and set up a defense mechanism to kill anyone who tries to access his mind before destroying his computer and leaving for the station. Despite this, Max and his group succeed in capturing Carlisle and taking him to Spider, who transfers his wealth to a group of people who needed to buy tickets to Elysia. Meanwhile, Frey is dealing with the loss of her patient Matilda. While Delacorte and Carlisle are renewing defense contracts for the space station and discussing the possibility of putting Delacorte in power through Carlisle's ability to override Elysium system. Max and Julio try to escape in a car, but the vehicle is hit with explosives, causing it to flip over. Kruger catches up to them and stabs Max with a knife, then draws his sword to finish him off. Julio attempts to stop Kruger by shooting him but Kruger deflects the bullets with his sword and kills Julio. Max manages to get up and fight Kruger using his exoskeleton suit. They engage in a fierce battle, with Kruger eventually overpowering Max and knocking him to the ground. Just as Kruger is about to deliver the killing blow, a grenade thrown by Frey explodes nearby. Distracting Kruger and giving Max the opportunity to impale him with his own sword. With Kruger dead, Max and Frey escape to a safe location. Max asks Frey to take him to her apartment instead, and she reluctantly agrees. Once there, Frey tends to his wound and tries to convince him to turn himself in. But Max is determined to find a way to remove the Lysium system reboot program from his mind. They are interrupted when droids show up at the building, forcing them to escape through the fire escape. They make their way to Spider's hideout, but find it deserted. Max realizes that Spider has been caught and interrogated by Delacorte's men. So they decide to go to the headquarters of the Armadine Corporation to find a way to remove the program. As they make their way there, they encounter more droids, but manage to defeat them with the help of a group of rebels. Finally, they arrive at Armadine and Max uses his exoskeleton suit to fight his way through the security forces. Inside, they find the device they need to remove the program and Max undergoes the procedure, successfully removing the program from his mind. Delacorte and Kruger catch up to them, but Max is able to use the device to overload their weapons and escape with Frey. Max demands that Spider find a way to get him and Matilda out of the city. Spider suggests that they use a covert underground transportation network called the Rabbit Hole but warns that it's dangerous and they will have to move quickly. They make their way through the tunnels, avoiding the security patrols and surveillance cameras. Along the way, Max explains to Matilda that he needs to get to Alicia because he has important information that could help cure her illness. When they reach the other side, they emerge in an abandoned building and are met by a man named Stryker. Stryker explains that he can get them to Alicia, but they need to pay a hefty price. Max offers him the information in his mind. When they reach the other side, they emerge in an abandoned building and are met by a man named Stryker. Stryker explains that he can get them to Elysia, but they need to pay a hefty price. Max offers him the information in his mind, who agrees to take them to Elysia in exchange for the information. As they board the shuttle, Kruger and his men arrive, but they are too late to stop Max and Matilda from escaping to Elysia. Kruger and Max arrive at Elysium and are met by Delacorte, who tries to take the reboot program from Max. Max refuses to give it to her and a fight ensues, during which Max uses his exoskeleton to overpower Delacorte. He then heads to Elysium and starts the reboot process, causing chaos as robots and drones begin malfunctioning. Meanwhile, the rebels led by Spider launch an attack on Elysium taking out the city's defense systems and giving Max time to finish the reboot. Kruger tries to stop Max but is killed by Spider, who then joins Max in the Lyceum. The two manage to complete the reboot just in time, causing a massive explosion that destroys Elysium and kills both Max and Spider. However, the reboot has changed the course of history, ushering in a new era of freedom and hope for humanity. Sometime later, Kruger's shuttle is en route to Elysium when a fight breaks out between Max and Kruger and his companion, causing the pilot to lose control of the ship. In the chaos, Max accidentally drops his grenade. 
which explodes and damages the ship's engine, causing it to crash in the suburbs. Delacorte is alerted by the security cameras and sends her forces to capture everyone on board. Max wakes up and finds Frey trapped in her seat, so he uses his newfound strength to free her. Kruger and his companion also awaken and resume their fight with Max. Frey takes the opportunity to grab Matilda and bring her inside a house to try to heal her, but the machine won't work without a citizen ID. Just then, the guards arrive and capture Max and Frey. The next time Max regains consciousness, he discovers Delacorte and a group of technicians checking Carlyle's data. Although the information is intact, extracting it would result in Max's death. Delacort disregards this and orders them to proceed with the extraction. Meanwhile, the rebels arrive at Elysium and start searching for Max while Kruger's men imprison Frey and Matilda. Kruger himself is barely alive and undergoes a procedure to heal himself and obtain an exoskeleton like Max's. Later, Max breaks free and interrogates the technicians to find Frey's location, stealing their access cards in the process. Delacord arrives and berates Kruger for his failure, but Kruger stabs her and locks her and Frey together. Kruger orders his men to eliminate all the politicians in the building while he hunts for Max, and they do so by using grenades. When Max finally reaches the control room, it's in complete chaos. The monitors show Frey and Matilda in the building and the rebels getting closer. Using a communicator, Max contacts Spider and asks if the program in his head can make everyone a citizen. Spider confirms it can, and they make a plan. Max then goes to find Frey and encounters Kruger's thug in the room. They fight and Max wins, killing Kruger's man. Another thug appears and shoots at Max, but he retrieves a heavy gun and shoots back. Max takes the girls to the elevator and instructs them to find a healing pod. Frey points out the lack of ID, but Max promises to take care of it and sends them away. Suddenly, Kruger is heard yelling nearby, but it turns out to be Spider and his group. A man is sent to help Frey and Matilda, while Max and the rebels go to Elysium system room, only to be found by Kruger, who begins killing anyone he can. Max and Kruger engage in a fierce fight, with Kruger initially gaining the upper hand by stabbing Max. However, this only angers Max, and he uses his robotic strength to tear off Kruger's exoskeleton. Kruger tries to use a grenade to kill both of them, but Max is able to free himself and throw Kruger off the platform instead. Meanwhile, Spider manages to hack the door to the system room and gain control of Elysium's computer systems. At that moment, the Elysium system reboots and a massive energy pulse radiates out from the building knocking everyone outside unconscious. Max's body is consumed by the energy, but his consciousness survives and he finds himself in a virtual space, surrounded by a lush forest and bright blue sky. He sees Frey and her children and they all embrace, happy to be reunited. Max realizes that he has sacrificed himself for the greater good and is content with the knowledge that he has saved countless lives. As the simulation fades away, Max's consciousness fades into nothingness, leaving only memories of his sacrifice behind. After the sudden power outage caused by the system reboot, the ship's database is updated with new citizens, including Matilda who is immediately recognized as a legitimate patient and is being healed by the healing pod. Meanwhile, the robots refuse to arrest Spider, who is also an Illusium citizen, as it would be illegal. As a result of the system upgrade, Every individual on Earth is now considered an Illusium citizen, leading to the detection of all the impoverished people in need of medical assistance. In response, shuttles are sent down to help them, prompting a rush of people from the slums towards the ships, seeking salvation. Amidst the chaos, Frey steps outside and gazes up at the sky, reminiscing about the cherished memories that Max left her. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you can enjoy more videos like this one. Thank you for watching.